three. We have a ground magnetic survey map that Star Resources paid a lot of money for geologists to make and it indicated that the edge of Twin Knobs 1 lamperite intrusion was 200 feet from a corner property line. Well this is the 200 foot post they drove here in 1992. They had surveyors uh, drive this post right along the property line 200 feet east of a uh, zero mark on the corner of the property. And their mag survey map shows the lamperite intrusion going right through here that this does not have diamonds and the lamperite is over here, uh, right here at the 200 foot mark. So we wanted to see how accurate their ground magnetic survey was and we wanted to find the edge of the volcanic intrusion here. So we got in and Kurt dug with his backhoe and uh, dug way over here the trench um, a good 15 feet past the 200 foot mark and all the way back towards where we have um, a pit where we're sampling and we definitely know there's lamperite down in the pit over here but this was all clay and you can see this here is clay so this is not lamperite this is off the edge so their 200 foot mark was off a little bit but they're just going by ground magnetic indication so we checked and Kurt also dug here an extension of our pit and we can see in the side wall here let me get down the reason this is wet I poured water in here so I could see the ore a little better this is lamperite all from here over everything is you can tell by the color the texture and the hardness from here over this definite line right here that is clay and so when the volcano Volcanic material came up from over 100 miles deep. It blew a funnel-shaped cone in the country rock that was here. This rock was already here, and it blew a funnel shape here, and this is the edge of the funnel. So we're going to take our map, just like we landed on the North Pole for the first time, or Antarctica, and we're going to mark the spot. We're at the top of Mount Everest. We, this is where the contact zone. This is where the volcanic material meets the country rock. What's exciting about the lamperite on this side is as the hot magma has come up uh, the diamonds tend to resorb because everything is still glowing red hot so it needs to cool down. Well it blows up in the air and it cools down some but it's mixed with the water of a shallow sea but that turns to steam immediately and steam is not cold so that doesn't cool it down much but when the magma that has been thrown up into the air and mixed with everything else falls back into the ground the the diamonds are resorbing it's kind of like an ice cube melting and the sides are beginning to melt the quicker that cools and refreezes the less of the diamond is lost and more of the diamonds are retained. But if it stays hotter longer, they turn to CO2 gas and you can even lose the complete diamonds or lose more of the size of the diamonds. The good thing about the contact zone is this magma that was once airborne from this, you know, Mach 1, Mach 2 intrusion lands back down here next to the country rock that is, say, room temperature and this lamperite cools quicker because it comes in contact with the relatively cool surface material. So you should have more diamonds and bigger diamonds in the lamperite in the contact zone than you would about 300 feet over here, which is the center of the funnel because they core drilled down, let's see, 200 feet that way and 167 feet that way. They drilled down in lamperite 1,000 feet and never hit the bottom of the lamperite. They just quit drilling because it cost them $40 a foot to drill. They figured, well, we just spent $40,000 core drilling this hole. That's enough. We're, we're either at the center or close. So we know the center of the funnel is 200 feet that way and 160 feet that way, 1,000 feet deep. Uh, just over here, about 100 feet, they drilled in 1992, Texas Star drilled, and 
it was 200 feet in lamprite. They never hit the bottom, they just stopped drilling. So right near here, this lamprite that's exposed right here extends for 200 feet. Very, just past my black truck there, 200 feet deep in lamprite. But right here, we don't know how deep it goes, but it's at least 12 feet, but it begins to come up like this, just like you would uh, at the side of a funnel or the side of a martini glass. And this is the edge of the funnel, or the edge of the martini glass. It is uh, right at the contact. And so this is kind of neat to find. You know, here we are, we found the edge. We know where the edge is. We know where the contact zone is. So all this material should be really good for diamonds. This is all lamperite. And we're just gonna take this area out and wash it, because uh, the diamond should be less resorbed, more uh, retained from resorption should be larger and more plentiful because close proximity to the edge that helped cool the magma. So anyway, we discovered something this morning and we, we put our flag there and marked the spot and now our treasure map has led us to X marks the spot and now all us pirates have to do is dig to get the treasure. So arg, we're gonna go after it. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this edition of Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas. Please like and comment and subscribe to our channel.